Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Coach Rob. It is the 12th of December 2019. Today we're going to make beef tacos. As you can see, we got our regular ground beef here. Right there, we're going to cook up in the frying pan. We got our taco shells. Then up top here, we got some black olives, some diced onions that are, or sorry, not onions, but tomatoes, chopped tomatoes. And we got our, our taco mild sauce made by El Paso. And down here we got some lettuce that's already been shredded. Our mild taco seasoning. And to top it off, we got the marble shredded cheese. So we hope you enjoyed this episode of Cooking with Coach Rob. Hi, as as you can see, we got our, our regular ground beef here. To make it easier, we're gonna put it in this little container first, just to make it a bit easier, like when we put it in the thing. Probably don't need to do it, but we're, we're gonna do that, Charlie. Of course, Charlie is Shannon's cat. And this is probably an, an, an unnecessary step, but just to make it easier to get it in. Oh, look at this, it's gonna go right in. And that's our ground beef, Charlie. And Charlie is Shannon's cat. Say hi, Shannon. Hi. Hi, Shannon's over there. So as you can see, we got it in here. We're gonna quickly just rinse our hands. We did wash them thoroughly before we started. And we're going to move over to the stove and we'll get that cooking in there for you. Okay, we're over at the frying pan and we got it set at about two and a half or to three. Is that about right, Shannon? Yeah. We'll put that in the sink. Then as Shannon mentioned off camera, we've got to break it up like into little pieces as it's cooking, right? Yeah. So that's going to take a bit. What we're going to do right now, we're going to do the, early in the show, we're going to do the, the Jared Bean shutout. Remember, Jared Bean's a great race walker. And today it's going to go out to all those people that organize special events for us to enjoy at Christmas. Like, for example, we went to the, to the Christmas parades, and there's a lot of people that work behind the scenes to put that on. Right? It's, it's, it's not something we should take for granted. But you've got to get permits, the police have to get involved, streets have to get closed, and some people are actually inconvenienced because of that. Because they live on the parade when they can't do their normal thing. So a big shout out to everyone that not only participates, but the behind the scenes people. As you can see, it's coming along good. It's going to take like a few minutes to cook, of course. We can't have any red in it, right? It's not in Canada anyway. Like. And it's got to be cooked to at least 165 Fahrenheit. Shannon, is it normally is it normal to be this watery? Yeah. Like Shannon's gonna come and and check it out. Yeah, that's normal. Because the pan was dry. That was normal. Yeah. Got to break it into small pieces. Oh, right? do you want to do some breaking? Sure, I'll do some breaking. Hey, okay, Shannon's gonna do some breaking. Yeah, I have to move the camera. For me. We have to move the camera for Charlie. Okay, we got Chef Shannon here. She's doing some of the, the breaking up. Showing you a good job of the breaking up. Thank you. Yes. As Shannon's continue on here, we got. I, got, I put a TV above the um, fridge, and that's so I can watch the streaming of the of the um, YouTube videos or watch from hockey games. And that shot up there is up at Parksville, BC, I believe. And we'll see what's next, and we'll go back to the cooking of this episode. And that's the breakwater in Victoria, BC. You guys kind of get the idea. It's kind of fun to have that there. Okay, what we're going to do now is since this is a bit greasy, we're going to strain it in one of our strainers that we got here, right? And we're just going to do it over the vegetable sink there, like, right? Right? So maybe, then we still got to cook this up more. Right, so we're going to go back over here. We'll just set that down here, but that's why that, that is why that is there. And that looks pretty good, eh, Shannon? Yep. So what we're going to do now is we're going to carefully go back over here and put it here. And we'll put it back on the burner. You notice I, I didn't walk with this across the floor. And that is a thing that we picked up. You're going to see that in one of the episodes of Island Thrift Store Hunters. So please check my out my other channels. 
like we said, violent surf store hunters are, thr are thrifting at surf stores. And one we started the other day was What's in the Bag. So please check out that playlist too. So we're going to carry on in a couple minutes. We'll be right back. Thanks. Okay, we're moving along here. We've got our taco, now a taco mix. And Shannon's going to say when. If we got to stick, we got to move it around like. That's good. That's good? Yep. Okay, so we're going to just carefully put this on here. We're still alive. Smells good. We're gonna be good? Yep. Okay, we're gonna do a bit more prepping and we'll be right back. Okay, what we're doing now is we've already done some prepping here. We've got our our, our um, chopped tomatoes open and we've got our black olives. And they're gonna go, go in these jars. So I got this at the dollar store the other day. And you can see that in the um, episode of what's in the bag right on my other playlist for for what's in the bag and we're going to put the um probably black olives in this is that right is that right yeah yeah so we're going to continue along by by opening this i always it says tear here so as we did hey you know what boom that's one of the first times i was actually able to tear it and it actually opened up wow. usually i got a fight with the scissors and this is shreds iceberg lettuce right iceberg yeah now for those of you that have known me all my life, don't confuse that with Mrs. Nineberg, our, our kindergarten teacher from Larson Elementary School in the 1974-75 school year. It has nothing to do with, with that. That was, that was Mrs. Nineberg. This is iceberg lettuce. Okay? So that's just like, I know people are gonna comment or phone me and say that that's, that was our kindergarten teacher, right? So. <laughs> If you are watching this video and we did go to kindergarten together, please, please um, message me because I have not heard from anybody from that far back ever. Or same with Calgary, like I lived there in 76, 77, or, or 77, 78. So as you can see, we got, we, we got the taco shells open now and there's some stuff in here. This is a mystery here. There's a mystery pack. Oh. There's a mystery pack of stuff. Oh. And I don't know, there's probably some sort of seasoning, seasoning. maybe. So we use that another. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a pause and we'll have some all, all plated up for you. Okay, we're going to fill our, our first two tacos here, like, we're putting the meat in it. And a bit more meat or what? Or is that good? A little bit more. That's good. And then we're going to go over here. And what goes in next to sauce? Uh, the sauce. Okay, we're gonna have to take a break here. Hang on. Thank you. Okay? Yeah. Okay, we've got our finished product here. I've got mine on the on the right here, or on this side, which is your left, I guess, right? Mm -hmm. I, I've got lettuce in mine. China made hers up with um, with the cheese and tomatoes, which is great. They both look great. We got we got some black olives here, so we're gonna enjoy these. Right, the Canucks are playing at seven o'clock. So we're going to enjoy the game, we're going to watch the game, then I'll be back in the studio like I always am after to give us a wrap up on how it tastes. Remember, please like and subscribe. If you um, do subscribe, don't forget the little bell button in the top corner, right? Because then, then we get notified when we upload videos. And like I said in the past, we're not going to probably do it every day, right? but at least once a week we'll have some sort of video, either this or the um, what's in the bag. and. Everybody enjoy the evening. Thank you. Hello everyone. How you doing? I just got back from dropping Shannon off at her uh, at her apartment or condo down the road. It's about 10:46 on Thursday night. We've had our our tacos. They turned out fantastic. They were so good. I made two to start with. Then with leftovers, I had two more. So um, yeah, I don't think we do anything differently next time. Um, and the Canucks won tonight by a score of one nothing in overtime. Elias Pertison scored in the first minute. I think it was like 40 seconds into it. They're playing with the Carolina Hurricanes in in um, Vancouver. So I'm going to get working on the shelves up here. You can't see it, but it's a mess in here. I put another shelf above the desk. 
So we'll see you in a future video and please like and subscribe and remember the brand new series that I started yesterday is What's in the Bag. That's another playlist on my YouTube channel. And remember my Facebook page is um, for the cooking channel was Cooking with Coach Rob. So we hope you enjoy the videos and feel free to pass them on to all your friends. Thank you so much.